Today I will update the rear seat USB-A ports on older, non-refreshed Model 3s. For example, mine is a 2018. The replacement will have USB-C for faster charging and be more future-proof. Let's get started. There are two things that we need for this project. First, the replacement console rear cover, part number 1111072-00-E. You can buy it over the counter at the service center for $110. Call ahead and see if they have it. Another source is to get a used one on eBay. And that is what I did. Do a search on the part number or just Tesla Model 3 console rear vent. I lucked out and found one for $50. The next item you need is a new Model 3 USB-C adapter cable. This will allow the old harness from the car to connect to the new USB connector in the housing. I found this one on AliExpress for $22. I haven't seen these available anywhere else in North America. I received the parts and now let's check them out. First up is the adapter cable. It arrived in a padded shipping envelope and then inside a Ziploc bag. The female end on the left accepts the car's connector and the male end on the right connects to the new USB inside the housing. Underneath we have the new housing in its box. Taking it out of the protective bubble wrap, we see that it is covered in a plastic wrap. The label says it's from a 2021 Model 3. Now let me take off the wrap. Now that we can see it, the component is in pretty good condition. The outside surface is free of scratches. There is some dust and dirt inside the vent area that I will clean out. I'll take off this wire that holds the tag in place. Looking underneath, I can see the label centered near the top, and it does show the part number matches the one that I need. It's always good to confirm what you receive to make sure that it isn't a mistake from the eBay seller. There are also other labels for part numbers for the subassembly components. Let me take the new USB harness adapter and show you where it goes. Take the male end of the adapter and find the corresponding connector on the housing, and it's located right here. Insert it with the clip side facing up. It only goes in one way since there is a guide bump on the right side, so you can't mess it up. Push it all the way in until it snaps into place. Here's a close-up view of the connection. And of course, the other side with the female connector is what attaches to the car. A quick cleanup with a rag and isopropyl alcohol, and it's ready for installation. A shot from a condensed air can would probably help too. Before I start the installation, I want to show you the current output from the existing USB-A ports on the rear of the console. I'll attach a USB meter to the port and then plug in a phone. As you can see, the voltage is 5 volts with 0 amps initially. When the phone is plugged in, it will ramp up the amp level. It seems to vary between 7 to 9 watts while charging the phone. I checked both ports with similar results. That's not too bad considering that most 120 volt outlet USB chargers are 5 volts at 1 or 2 amps, which gives you 5 to 10 watts. In the rear seat of the Model 3, you will find the vents with the USB ports. As seen earlier, this is one piece. Here is the replacement console rear vent cover to show you the difference. Pretty much just the USB ports. Pull up on the housing and it will pop out. There are just some clips holding it into place. I found it easier to pull from the bottom of the housing. Carefully pull it away from the center console. Be aware that the wire is attached to it. Place it down 
and then disconnect the wire from the cover. The connector is kind of tight, so it helped using a plastic pry bar to wedge it out. Now that it is loose, you can take the cover and place it aside. Here are the two console pieces next to each other, the original on the right and the replacement on the left. The only noticeable difference from the outside is the smaller size of the USB-C ports. Inside, the USB components are different and the new one has the adapter already installed on it. Now take the new cover and place it down near the opening. As I mentioned, the adapter is already connected to the USB connector inside the housing. Then connect the car's wire harness to this adapter cable. It only fits in one direction, so it's not that hard to connect. Make sure it's fully snapped into place. Here's a close-up of the connection. You will see that there is plenty of slack in the wire. Just carefully push the cable back into the empty space in the bottom of the cavity. Make sure the wires don't get pinched as you place the new cover over the opening. There are four clips that you will attach it to. Once the positioning looks good, then press the overall surface until it snaps into place. And that's it, the project is complete. Now for a close up of the new cover installed onto the center console. At this point, it's a good idea to make sure that the USB ports are working correctly. I'll take the USB tester connected to a phone that I used earlier and check it out. Insert the tester's USB-C plug into the port. It lights up showing that power is available. The updated USB chips can provide a theoretical 27 watts of output, about five times faster than the original USB-A ports. Let's see if this installation gets those numbers. I get between 9 to 9.1 volts and between 2 and 2.4 amps for a total of 18 to 21.6 watts. I tested both ports with similar results. So I roughly get a 2.25% increase in charging speed from about 9 to 20 watts. So not quite as fast as the theoretical 27 watts that USB-C can provide. Still, I'm happy with the improvement. As more and more devices start using USB-C cables and requiring higher charging power, you'll be glad to update the ports from USB-A to USB-C. This was a super easy modification to the car. If you can get it for a good price for a used replacement part, go for it. I got mine for $50 plus $22 for the cable for a total of $72, which I don't think is too bad for this upgrade. Well, that wraps up this video for upgrading the rear USB ports from Type A to Type C. This retrofit for an older Model 3 is one of the easier jobs you can do for faster device charging, and it only takes a few minutes to swap out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.